Hello, my name is Edward Wang, and today I will be presenting the Group 6 Grocery Store Checkout Pseudocode and Testing Process for Project 4, and how the black box system functions will work with customer checkout. So first, we'll go over the pseudocode. As you can see on the left side, we have a total of 11 steps with several sub-steps. The first, approaching the self-checkout register. Number two, clicking the Start button. Number three, picking up an item to scan. Four, deciding whether the item is A, non-perishable or B, perishable. Now for non-perishable items, which have a SKU barcode, you simply scan the barcode before proceeding to step five. Has each item been scanned, yes or no? If uh, yes, continue to step six. If no, go back to step three. Now for perishable items, which do not have a barcode, First, you must define what type of item it is when prompted on the screen and place the item on the scale. Then the black box function comes into effect, determining the cost based on quantity and weight. Now, if either of these increase, the price will increase as a result. And now down to step five, has each item been scanned? We'll say yes, continue to step six. Then step six, selecting proceed to checkout. Step seven, determining the number of bags used when prompted on the screen. And this is our second black box function where it adds 10 cents per bag used. Number eight, scanning the rewards card if applicable. Number nine, selecting a payment method, debit, visa, or gift card. And now the final black box function, adding the tax to the subtotal. And step 10, completing payment, collecting the receipts, bags, and editing, exiting the store, and then ending at step 11. So moving on to the flow chart, on the right, you can see that our steps, uh, again, one for approaching self-checkout, two, clicking the start button, three, picking an item to scan, four is our first uh, decision, where we separate the perishable and non-perishable items. And then the sub steps for non perishable, scanning the item before decision at uh, step five, if each item has been scanned. The sub steps for perishable items, indicating the quantity and weight so the black box function can calculate them. And then ending up at step five, where we say yes to uh, has each item been scanned, we select proceed to checkout at step six indicating the number of bags used when prompted on the screen for step seven. Another black box function where the price of bags will be 10 cents per bag. And scanning the reward card if applicable at step eight. Step nine, selecting the payment method. Again, debit, visa, gift card. Our final black box function, adding the subtotal to the uh, taxes completing payment, collecting receipt and bags and exiting the store at step 10 and ending the flow chart at step 11. So our testing process for these uh, flow chart, we have three scenarios. First, the customer approaches self-checkout with a bag of chips. So the expected outcome is the item is non-perishable. Customer scans the item using the printed SKU barcode. Total price is calculated with tax. Customer scans a rewards card, buys the number of bags needed. Customer then proceeds to pay using Visa, which is the customer's preferred method of payment, collects the receipt and bags and leaves the store. Scenario two, customer approaching self-checkout with a box of bananas. Now the expected outcome is that since this item is perishable, the customer will place the item on the scale and the price is determined based on quantity and weight. Total price is calculated with tax. The customer will then scan a rewards card and buy the number of bags needed. The customer will then proceed to pay using a gift card, which is the customer's preferred method of payment, collecting the receipt and bags, and then leaving the store. Now the final scenario, customer approaches self-checkout with two items, a bag of pretzels and a box of apples. Now, the expected outcome is the first item is non-perishable and the second item is perishable. So the customer first scan the first item with the SKU barcode. Then the customer will place the second item, the box of apples on the scale, and the price will determine with the black box function based on quantity and weight. 
Total price for both items is calculated with tax and added up. Customer does not scan a rewards card. Customer then will proceed to pay with a debit card and ending again with collecting the receipt in bags and then leaving the store. Thank you for watching our presentation.